was, was part of that can trace back. He must it must have been like in, in 1875 where he wound up in America. He was a he was in the French army. He came from Germany and wound up in France and, and then he got into the French army and he went AWOL and got on a ship with a load of horses. With a shipload of horses and made his way over here and the way it way the way this book reads that he wrote he went through awesome stuff, I mean, to get to America. But he found out that these Bulgar German people are always talking about, <clears throat> they came the other route. But he knew about them and heard about them that they were out here in Ellis County, Kansas. So he made his way across country. It took him three years to get from Boston, Massachusetts to Hayes, Kansas. Worked on the railroad. They fought the Indians. They fought everything in, in the world you could think of. And you know, way back then, that must have been some pretty tough going, try to build a railroad as far as the stuff they had to work with and everything else in the world. But anyway, he got here, and then he met up with these people that came from the Volga, German, Volga, Russia. And then he met my mother and, and my, not my mother, my, my grand. I never got to know my grand. I was dead two years already before my grandfather died. My, my grandfather was dead. Two, two years past then is only when I was born, so I won't. I don't know much about my grandfather because I wasn't even here when he was. And so, the poor guy, he 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 had a rough time in his life. I'll tell you for sure in how he did things, but he accumulated, accomplished a lot. I mean, he he had land for every one of them boys and girls. You know, by the time that they went on their own, he did a lot. I mean. <clears throat> you got to give a man, he, he must have been made out of of something that I can't even imagine <laughs> in what in what he endured. You know, with these ungodly families, and every once in a while he'd pick up some couple in haste that had nowhere to go, had nothing to do. He's just going to keep them until he could find something for them to do, and sometimes he'd have them four or five years. They even had little children there, and he had a, a ton of them. I mean, you know, 14 children he had. And he'd bring people here and, 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 and fend for them until they could go on their own, then he tried to help them out and get them going. Man, he must have had a heart of gold, I mean, to do that, what he did. When you read that, all the history that they got on him, my my one aunt, she was, of course, she's dead and gone, but she wrote the whole, she studied the whole history from him, from where he came to America and all, and what all he did has got to be on. And there was others, he wasn't the only one, I mean, there's other people did stuff similar to that, and but what they did is, you just can't believe it. It's unbelievable. So they had to excavate the, the stone to build this farm. Oh, yeah. Farm. Oh. And you said they used only the best stone for the barn and the crummy ones for the house. They, they cut the rock out and don't. That's why these rocks are beautiful on this outside this barn with the, the way they honed them and, and, and dressed them up. And the colts that they didn't weren't quite, they, they built a house out of that. They didn't think much of their house. They loved their barns. <laughs> they thought the barn was more important than the house. <laughs> Although that was a big house, and we lived in it. I tore that house down. It it was crumbling. It was starting to, it was built with, you know, had mud in between the joints and all, and, and walls were starting to fall over. So I tore the house down and took that house, and it was big and had a lot of rocks. And then I contracted cess cesspools, you know, build these cesspools for people. For $35, I'd build a cesspool, work a whole week, and furnish the rock and everything else in the world. That's where that whole house ended up, is in cesspools. <laughs> Woo! You wouldn't do that now for, for, for $5,000, I wouldn't. <laughs> Tell us about some of the bands that played here. Oh, God, I mean, there was just... There were just so many of them that it's hard for me to think about the whole deal. But like I told you before, down here at Lawrence, Kansas, they had five bands, and the Red Dogs and the Blue Things, and and they and they were traveling bands. And I told them before there they had a, a road man by the name of Kerry Igor. He was the, 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 the awfulest thing I ever seen in my life for a human being. I mean, he was the meanest man that God made, and that includes... Uh, Saddam or anybody else. I mean, he was mean. Mean. I mean, and he'd be their road man, and they'd play on percentage of the gate, and then he'd stay out with the Frida and the girls to watch the gate, and he'd stand up there sometimes, and so many kids snuck in through the trunk. They'd lay in the trunk, and, and that guy was so big, he'd take any car in the world, he'd go right up behind it and pick it way up and let it drop, and then he'd listen on that trunk to see 
whether he was anything in that trunk. And every once in a while, one something would rattle in there, and they had opened the trunk. And when they seen him, they nearly died of they, they died of shock when they seen that enormous humanity of a man. I mean, he was fierce. He wanted to bet me a hundred dollars that I could take all the maize I wanted to, and he'd go to the back of that barn, and I'd use that maize, and, and he'll come and take me. Boys, and if you ever had maize, I had people shooting maize in my face here. God almighty, I mean, that's, a, that's awesome. That's a, that, oh, God almighty, I mean, you get completely blind and complete breathless. You don't even know what in the world ever hit you. <laughs> it's so awesome. Well, tell us about the, uh, Janice Joplin. The what? Janice Joplin. She was well, yeah, she was still peer here, but she she died just shortly before the, the band showed up here, but she was dead by then. She would have been here if hadn't she have did what she did. So we we missed her in playing here or acting here, whatever her part was. So we didn't ever get her in here. The biggest band we ever had here and and, 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 and the biggest crowd we ever drawed was, was not quite six thousand kids in one evening. And baby, baby played. All the kids ever wanted was baby. Baby, 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 baby. Amen. Baby. God. Yeah, man, I got so sick of hearing about baby, it wasn't even funny. And, and once we had baby, but then it, I had a band one time I hired out of Nebraska. They were somewhere out of Nebraska by the name of Godfather. And they were highly advertised. All the, see, the only way we advertised was over KOMA, Oklahoma City. That was it. That's all the kids, their radios were on in the nights when they messed around, threw around, whatever they did. They had KOMA, Oklahoma City. So they always knew what went on at the Rock Haven. We'd advertise through them. Because that was great advertisement. For us. And God Almighty in heaven.